Hi friends, this is Vetrivel. This tutorial I will teach how to uh, create one web, uh, web services in uh, ASP.NET. <coughs> uh, so many friends asked to how to create a web service, how to consume the web service in ASP.NET or many things. And how to uh, in export, uh, while exporting the web service, we need the format is JSON format or XML format. What so many questions are raised. Uh, today, uh, the pleasure to in inform you, I will create the web services and how to consume and everything I will teach in step by step. Okay, first, uh, this is my project. Uh, I created so, so many folders or anything. Uh, this is not a uh, very important thing. And now just right click your project and click add. In the add, you have to click add new item. In new item, you have to search uh, dot uh, w r a m web sorry web service web service ASH here is that so this is visual basic visual, visual C sharp method I am choosing here visual basic also is there you can choose anything here and here place code in separate files so I make it here a code in separate file just here I will give any name like uh, service or web service right now I will just leave it web service and click add so my services is added here so this is my web service here here hello world is there one function is there the here web method web method is important things uh, to uh, uh, web service you have to declare this using dot system dot web dot service then only it, it will work in system public dot string equal to hello world one function is there and returning is hello world is there so just I will uh, run this functions click run so our web service is running here once it successfully run here our function will be showing here so once I click this function hello option dot uh, hello world here click invoke invoke button so you will get the values in XML format so that means this is the method to execute our function you have to copy and paste it anywhere it will result show result it won't execute directly because you have to in a work that means the post method you have to call in post method then only it will work okay we will teach how to use and all uh, so for that I will give one more uh, best method to execute this web service just uh, go to in browser here uh, type postman so postman for chrome just click that postman for chrome here I already installed that's why it's showing launch app once you not install it will show uh, click to add app or install app so you have to click that app it will open this like one application in that applications In that application, you have to just pass that value. Okay, copy this value and here paste it. And method I'm making post method and execute. See, output is coming. So, by default, post method only it will execute the that method. So, web method. So post method is working so output is coming output is a json for sorry xml format is there you want to change is is a json you have to change json but it not supporting json format for that we have to return uh, json serializer or uh, many things is that i will teach later that and all okay right now just i will add these values and i am getting result here so just i I minimize the 
this uh, form here okay now what I have to do what I have to do just here I will add some parameters okay for example uh, string uh, name I am add one uh, one parameter here I will pass that returning type that name I will set returning type name just hit the button and in browser just I will repress the just hit close and again I will run so once run the values that parameter will ask so what value you need to pause and all many things it will ask here also we can execute here just I am um, using here post method and HTTP web service dot web home. here parameter option is there so click that parameter so meanwhile the program is running here just I click the hollow hold here now it will ask the parameter value name so here I will put a trivial and click in a work so my name is uh, comes here so once giving the our name uh, it will comes the output like that okay so how to you execute same thing in that postman so just have to run that postman uh, where it is that postman go to app here click postman so our URL is here just I copy that URL and paste it here so already is the URL okay here here form data in body section form data x uh, www form url encoding choose this form url encoding here and give name equal to your parameter name and value here and click execute <coughs> see result is coming like that result is coming like that okay so in web service how to add complex values and all how to add calculations and all how to add one more parameters I will teach now okay here just I will click uh, add one more parameter here so web method so I already written some codes for that uh, easy reference so I already written here just I copy that here I will put and paste it so what here written I written in like okay here written add int a so result will be comes in a uh, integer int b and int uh, a and B I am giving two parameters and uh, in return type I will add these two values and show them so just save and run once again so I will just here give add add only okay and give two values a equal to 10 b equal to 20 and click send parameters see value is coming 30 like that only in web service also you click two function will be showing here in that function I click add here it will ask two parameters a and b I will give the values and click in a work the result will be comes in like that so integer and string 57 is coming so 
now add some more complexes so for that I add some methods here just I copy and go to our web service here I will just paste it so here what I return uh, format output format is string only method name is uh, my first web method so here I will uh, add name I will change it as a add name method name first name I will give and last name I will give so it will return is our Q uh, first name and last name it will show you that is the uh, our function just I save the function name and click hit the run button so here I will add that my mother name add name here first f i r s t first name here last name first name I will give Vetri. last name I will give well d and click send button so how are you very well d is coming so like that we can modify so many different kind of scenarios and different type of outputs so based on your requirement I will add some more complex uh, returning type so for that I will return one class like one object I will create one object so just go to our project uh, here I will create one structure so client data and here I will add add all methods like so method I will add so here I will uh, I am passing the values like a uh, client data so output format like uh, some structured data it will come so returning also this type of structure it will come so that is this is a multiple data like array array data will come so I will just pass the uh, number uh, how many numbers I need to loop how many data I want uh, like that I will pass here client data that is our parameter name just again I will run the project So once you successfully run here I will give my parameter name sorry a function name uh, client data here I will give what's the parameter name uh, number number this is no need number I will give uh, 10 and click execute see result is coming a structured data so like a client data in name uh, id name is client 0 uh, number is 0 again him uh, again is open as a client data so you will see the so many clients will be come here so how many clients is there i will show all the clients see 10 clients 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so every 10 record uh, it will come so this is the structure based array based array client array clients see here structures so this is the our structure so every time by loop I will pass the values to this structure so based on structure it will creating the loop so we can create what type of structure you want you can create you have to create was assign the class for that structure class after uh, pass the values into that particular structure you can make it whatever you want like that so meanwhile so here client data will become so number will be given uh, 12 and in a work so data will be come here but here is not uh, accessible because here is won't show is the array of client then only have to get the data but using this uh, like uh, what 
this postman you can retrieve the values and show the all the data like that okay guys we will uh, in next tutorial i will teach how to consume this web service and how to use into for this usage so main reason of the web service is instead of giving your database access or database you have to give just you have to give just your url only you are just here to give your url only so like this is url and give that parameter based on url and parameter anyone can access the result and fetch the values that is the uh, main uses of the web services so okay guys we will meet on next tutorial bye see you later.